As a firefighter, when we respond to fires, we look at the type of occupancy, the type of fire involvement, and what products are involved in fire. Depending on what's in the warehouse, we have to identify that because that'll tell us how we're going to attack or extinguish the fire. Everything's a system, so basically uh, one is uh, the design of the building, one is the commodities that are stored inside of the building, and basically the containers that are stored inside of the building are holding those commodities. When you uh, take one portion out, or if you're non-compliant, for instance, in the, uh, either the material or the type of container it's stored in, it has a domino effect on the building's performance under fire. The fires that I fought that involve flammable materials become very hostile and very intense. They burn quick, they burn fast, and they burn hot. From a fire protection standpoint, and there's a huge advantage to having the steel drum. When they do uh, are subjected to heat or flame, uh, they'll maintain their structural integrity and perform remarkably better than uh, any other type of material. The metal will provide uh, some added time to uh, keep everything intact, to uh, allow fire suppression to do um, its job of putting the fire out and not uh, and preserving some of the other product that's not involved. The best elements that help us is a working fire protection system, but the second best thing would be proper containerization of flammable materials. If it's properly packaged, properly uh, arranged and stored, it, it uh, gives a sense of confidence that um, under fire conditions we can control it and mitigate that, uh, that safety hazard with a minimal impact on the building or the occupants. For us, the greater protection is in that steel drum.